Church, I have exciting news for you. We are going to be coming back together for physical gatherings in just two weeks from today. Right now, we are finishing up construction and installation of our sound and our lighting equipment. And as of right now, we believe we are going to have a certificate of occupancy and have everything up and running and ready to launch in-person gatherings again on Sunday, July 19th. And man, oh man, we have been waiting for this. We are now days away from physical gatherings. And man, I cannot tell you just how excited I am. So we're going to be releasing our full uh, detailed plans for exactly what this is going to look like on all of our different platforms. But I wanted to just take a moment to give you some highlights to make sure you're in the loop of what this is going to look like. So we are going to be wearing face coverings during entering, exiting, and singing. And I know that this is not ideal for many of us, but for us, we believe as a church that that coming together, seeing our church family, worshiping, praising, lifting up the name of Jesus is worth a temporary inconvenience. For us, we want best practices, not just bare minimums. And for you, if you're in the place where you don't want to wear a face covering during worship and coming in and out of the building, we totally respect your views. We just ask you continue to get engage with us in our online services, which we're going to continue to provide, and we're going to provide those with excellence for you. And because you are part of the church, whether you're in, engaging online or in person, and so we want you to know that if you are somebody who is sick or you want to limit uh, exposure for you or for your loved ones, we totally, totally respect that. And we support your decision to continue to engage with us online. So let me make sure you know of a couple other things that are going to be happening. Our service times are going to be changing. They're going to be shifting to 9 a.m. and to 11 a.m. to allow us to time to move people in and out of the building. And, and the reason for the time change is that that's going to allow us to clean the high touch surfaces in our church building and our auditorium in between each service. And, and that's going to take some extra time. Parking, when you show up, is going to be offered every other space to allow for social distancing. When you come in, you're going to be ushered to a specific seat based on the number of people who are with you. And um, everybody is going to be seated from front to the back of the auditorium. At the end of church, we're going to release by rows, just like you would at, at like a wedding. And for right now, uh, just while we're getting started, we are not going to have a separate space for kids' church. But I want you to know, we are going to have a mother's room that, that you will be able to change any diapers if you need to. And then we're also going to have our brand new lobby space available. And that'll be available if your kids are struggling in service. And here's the thing. You got to know that there isn't going to be any shame if you need to leave the auditorium to exit with your kids. If they're having a difficult time, I got to be honest, I fully expect my kids to end up there at some point. A couple other things that I want you to know. Volunteers and staff are going to be temperature checked before they can serve. Seats in the auditorium are going to be set up six feet apart, set up in twos, fours, and sixes for seats there. And for you, you're going to pre-sign up for church before attending to make sure we've got a space and a seat for you. We'll open up signups one week before service starts. So in other words, you would sign up up to seven days before the coming service. And so what that means is that this coming Sunday, you can sign up for physical gatherings of church, which are going to happen in two weeks from now. And we're going to be releasing a lot more details of our plans. We're going to have a website with kind of answering all of your questions. And honestly, you might hear some things repeated. And for us, we want to make sure that you know exactly what to expect when you show up. So this is just kind of an introduction to the plan. And I just want to take a moment right now to celebrate that we're going to have the chance to be back to in-person gatherings. So church, whether you're joining us online or in person, I want you to know this. I miss you. I love you. I'm praying for you regularly. I believe that for so many of us, this has been such a difficult season. I know for myself, tears have, have trickled down my face when I think about the loss of so much, so many 
of us have experience. But I also want to say this. God has done some remarkable works in the midst of this season. And God isn't done yet. With God, there is still a next. And I believe God is going to continue to impact our town, our city of Chai Lai, using our church as a location to be sent out into our world. I think God is still moving in Rochester and I believe he's got plans for the world. I believe he has plans to redeem all of creation, to bring us back to him. And the beautiful part about who God is, is he uses us to be his conduits of change in our world. So please keep in touch with us on our website, check your email, check our social media accounts, and please join us online this coming Sunday, July 12th, for our last week of service times at 9.30 and 11 a.m. with a special pastoral conversation with Pastor Bob regarding this whole COVID-19 season. I will see you guys soon and God bless you.